Hi everybody, I want to do a quick demonstration of this last uh, lab with the watershed and the terrain analysis. So what we were asking you to do is take elevation data for this raster, but specifically for this watershed, which is outlined in white. I can change that um, so it's easier to see against this one right now. Um, so basically from the elevation values, we can calculate slope and aspect. Aspect is the direction that the slope is facing, but we generate both directly from the DEM or the elevation values. Um, and then a couple of things we ask you to do is just kind of break it apart and, and um, isolate all the cells or parts of the watershed that are facing east, and then also isolate all of the cells or parts of the watershed that are facing, or that are greater than 30 degrees in slope. Um, so that's the gist of it. And then the, the kind of other task is to take the mean uh, average, the mean or the average slope for the watershed. And we use the zonal statistics tool to do that. Um, so just let's start with aspect. If I turn on the aspect that's calculated from that raster, it should look something like this. Um, it comes in classified, and the colors tell us a, a class. So all of these cell values of 22.5 to 67.5 are cells that are facing northeast. They're all colored orange. Um, so if I go into the Identify tool and click on orange cells, um, they're going to have, let's see here, i got to get this set to pull from my aspect. So if I click in orange, I'm going to get a range of values that's somewhere between 22.5 and 67.5. And, and all the orange cells should have some some value. So this is the like the direction, the cardinal direction that that cell is facing from 0 to 360 degrees going around in a compass, if that makes sense. And what we want to do is isolate the ones that are um, between 22 and a half degrees around in that circle all the way around to 157 and a half because those are our northeast to southeast facing cells. And they're also the colors orange, yellow, and green. So we want to basically take those three classes and um, preserve them and get rid of everything else. And we do that using the reclassify tool. That's in the instructions. I'm not going to um, do that here. But this is what the results look like. And when I turn on the, the east reclass, um, it should cover up the orange, yellow, and green cells. right? So if I turn this on, it's masking all of that. And all we can see through it is uh, the pink, blues, reds, and um, yeah, basically that. Um, if I turn this off, we should see nothing but the hillshade underneath because we made everything else go to no data or it just disappears. If I turn that off, it should just be, you know, the arc map data frame behind it. So hopefully that makes sense. If I look in the attribute table, um, it gives us a count for just the values of two, which makes sense because that's all I have here. Um, and it's telling me that we have 1,588,740 cells. And that's how many cells in this raster have eastern facing slopes. But we're only interested in the eastern, eastern facing slopes inside the watershed. So we have to cut this down. Um, we have to clip it using that. We can do that extract by mask tool to get just the stuff that's in the, inside the watershed. Okay, so that's what this new layer is right here. This is the east-facing slopes that's been clipped to the watershed. If I turn that off, all I have are cells that are facing east inside the watershed, and we should see that this value is smaller. So now I've got uh, 366,657 cells. And hopefully it makes sense that if we know how many cells are facing east, and we know the size of one cell, then we can multiply those together and get the total area that's facing east inside the watershed. So if I zoom in and look at the individual cells, I could even just take the measure tool and measure across, and it says that the cell is about two meters across, right? If I go into the properties of this thing and look at the source tab, the cell size, XY, says 2 comma 2. Well, we just measured it, so we know this is two meters by two meters. Resolution of this cell would be two meter. But the area of each cell is going to be 2 meters multiplied by 2 meters. Length times width is 4 meters squared. So if we take 4 meters squared and multiply it by the count, which is how many red cells we have, um, that gives us the area that's facing east. Hopefully that makes some sense. I'll uh, do another demonstration talking about the slope.